Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. This is a request based video on archival research by dear knowledge. So let's start with the proper definition. Archival research is a type of research which involves seeking out and extracting evidence from archival records. And uh, archival records, uh, the definition includes that archival records are the public or private documents that describe the activities of the individual institutions, government and other groups. Now, archive is a place where people store their old records and archive or archival refers to public records paper, periodicals, books, or other items. And articles are um, material, whether in form of electronic, audiovisual print, which by their value, which by their nature and characteristics have enduring archival value that have been selected for perfect preservation. And it gives a weave of the past. Now, who use archives? Archives are used by staff members of parent institutions, staff members of other organizations, scholars, professors and teachers, students, historians, geneal genealogists, and hobbyists. Now, basically, uh, an archive research uh, are, or these records may be held either in collecting institutions such as libraries and museums or in the custody of an organization, uh, whether a government body, business, family or other agency that originally generated or accumulated them or in that of a successor body transferring or in house archives. Now, archival research can be contrasted with number one, secondary research, uh, which is undertaken in a library or online, and which involves identifying and consulting secondary sources relating to the topic of inquiry. And number two is with other types of primary research and empirical investigation, uh, such as fieldwork and experiment. Now. Uh, and archival research contains most valuable and rare data which often exist only in a single copy and the data were gathered and stored prior to the research intended for letter use and historical papers reading notes census data court proceeding etc are some of the uh, types of or examples of the archival research now, how does archival research work? There are basically five step approach. The first one is discovery. And then in the second step, the excess authorization to data has to be checked. And third step, um, uh, the third step is about assessment. And this way it, it is examined if the information is usable concerning credibility, representativeness, and meaning. In the fourth step, sifting is performed. This helps you to reduce the volume of information to a manageable quantum. And in the end, everything has to be cross-checked to make sure that no information is missing because you are totally doing an archival research and you need to work properly. Now, there are some advantages of the archival research. Uh, the first one is that there is an ability of huge amount of data in one place. You get a huge amount of data in one place. And the second thing is that uh, research approach is already available. Now, uh, you get data that are already available, the researches have already been done, and this makes it easier to collect the data that is already present. And uh, in this way, the historical comparison or trend analysis can be done, the comparison with a large population can be done. And these were some of the advantages of the archival research. Now, there are some disadvantages of the archival research. I have included some of them. The first one is that there is a difficulty or it is difficult to access restrict documents because some of the documents may be private and you may not have uh, permission to access those documents. And this is done in order to maintain the confidentiality. The second one is that it can be out of date and the last one is that it may not provide complete picture of a situation because archival research is all about uh, researching uh, or studying or uh, looking for what is already done. You just go and you just collect all the data 
uh, which is already done and you don't do direct observation and that's why the information may not or the archival research may not provide complete picture of a situation. So this was the end of the video. If your concept is clear, you can like the video. If not, you can ask us in the comment section and we will be happy to help you out. Plus, if you're new to this channel, you can subscribe, click on the bell icon so you will get instant notification of every video. You can share the link of this video and channel with your family members and friends because sharing is caring. Until then, Allah Hafiz.